Hey everyone, welcome to a series that we're calling Lunar Recapped, where we go over everything that we've worked on in Lunar Client. Since this is the first time that we're doing this, we're going to be covering everything from the start of the year up until now. So strap in and let's check out some of the features that you're able to try out right now. Let's start off by taking a look at our launcher. At the end of last year, we released support for third party mod packs. The release of mod packs on Lunar Client is a massive step into the future for us. In collaboration with Modrinth and the owners of our supported servers, we're able to give players the best experience by providing additional tools to the use of mods to make sure that you're able to have the best experience you can on these servers while still playing on Lunar Client. Right now, we currently have have three supported mod packs. Those include MCC Island, Windcraft, and Hoplite. To make sure that you have the best experience on these servers, we've bundled their mod packs with amazing mods by third party developers to ensure that you have access to everything you need for these servers, such as Island Tales, Wind Tales, and Simple Voice Chat, respectively, on top of a plethora of other improvement mods. As well as that, we've recently added the ability for you to customize each mod pack individually. This makes it so you can make sure that these mod packs are working in a way that's best for your system. But if you thought we were stopping at mod packs for improvements to the launcher, then you'd be wrong. So let's go over some of the other changes we made, starting off with enhancing our Discord rich presence. Now, any server owner with the use of our Apollo API is able to customize how their server is displayed for players on Lunar Client while in Discord. This allows other people to see what servers and game modes their friends are playing, as well as any other information that the server owners want to include. Speaking of Apollo, we've officially released it. Apollo is an API tool that allows server owners and developers to tie their servers into Lunar Client directly. This allows them to add a plethora of features to their servers. So many features, in fact, that we're not able to cover them all in this video or it'd probably be over an hour long. But if you're a server owner or developer watching this, just head over to our documentation site for Apollo to get started integrating it into your server. Aside from Apollo, the team's been working extensively to find ways to improve your experience in the launcher. With this, the launcher's seen some major refinements, such as a 500% improvement in the bundle size, which will make those launch and update times even faster. So now, let's head into what we've been working on inside the actual game. Not only have there been a massive amount of improvements, but we've also been working on a few mods that you're able to jump in game with and try out right now. So let's go check those out. First off, we finally released our own mod for Hypixel Skyblock, exclusive to Lunar Client. We released this mod with a ton of popular features that you all have suggested, and we're constantly working on improving those features as well as adding brand new ones. To start, we have a few key features to help you out with dungeons, one of the most popular and painful areas of Skyblock, such as our Floor 7 Terminal Solvers, to make speedrunning dungeons just that much easier. Or if Floor 7's out of your league, our option to highlight the Spirit Bow in 4-4 can make even the lower levels of dungeons easier for everyone. But if Dungeons isn't your style, we have options for passive Skyblock players too. This includes our HUD and notification features for Garden. We also allow you to enable bigger crop hitboxes while on 1.8. But don't worry, because we didn't forget about the Slayer Grinders either, since we offer a bunch of options suitable for all Slayers. There's honestly way too many features in this mod for us to go over, and we're always working on adding new ones. But if there's something that hasn't made it into the mod yet that you want to see get added, just head over to our Discord and leave us a suggestion for what you'd like to see in this mod next. Anyways, let's move away from Skyblock block and check out the block outline mod, the next thing that we're going to be showing off in this Lunar Recap. Many of you are probably familiar with this mod as it was, but earlier this year we completely revamped it, adding a bunch of new options that you can customize however you'd like. First, we have four new render modes, two of which are exclusive to block overlays. The rainbow mode, like you probably assumed, lets you have a continuous rainbow flowing through your blocks as you hover over them. You're even able to toggle if you'd like this to travel through the blocks. Next, the blend mode allows you to create a custom gradient for whatever colors you pick to transition between. This mode also allows you to choose if you'd like it to travel through the blocks. And finally, the last two modes are Darken and Inverted. These two are both exclusive to block overlays only. As you probably assume, the Darken mode will make whatever block you're looking at much darker, so you can easily tell it apart from surrounding blocks. And the Inverted mode will invert all the colors for the block you're looking at. Aside from render modes, there's also a couple new features inside the block outline mod. Now, you're able to pick whether you want your outlines and overlays to only affect the side of the block you're looking at. On top of that, you're even able to toggle if you want foliage to be outlined if you're using our hide foliage setting. And that pretty much wraps up our revamp to the block outline mod. So now, let's check out another brand new mod that we've added to Lunar Client, Horse Stats. Whether you're playing on a casual survival world looking for a new companion to go on adventures with, or playing a super competitive game mode where your horse can make or break your game, this mod is here to help. After you tame a horse, this mod will give you a breakdown of where the best stats for the horse you're on lie, as well as an overall percentage. This makes it super easy to pick out the best horse from a crowd, and then do some, let's just say not so passive things to the rest. Speaking of 
competitive game modes, we've also added a feature to our ping mod to help you gain an edge over others while you're in combat. Just head into the mod, and you'll now be able to add the ping for other players onto their name tag. So if you're getting ready to go in and fight someone, you'll be able to plan your strategy much easier knowing what ping they're on. But let's be real, if you lose, you're probably going to blame it on lag anyways. On top of that, we've also added a highly requested feature to the older versions of the game. Raw mouse input is a setting that already exists in vanilla on versions higher than 1.16, but with Lunar Client, you're now able to use it on all versions of the game. A lot of operating systems tend to make your cursor smoother compared to how you're actually moving your mouse. This can result in your aim being super inconsistent, but with this feature on, your cursor will be one to one with how you move your mouse, meaning your aim will drastically improve. Stepping away from combat, let's check out a bigger project that's been in the works for a while, resourcepacks.gg. Earlier this year, we announced the release of our one-stop shop for any resource pack you desire. From the latest release of the game, all the way back to versions like 1.7, there's a massive catalog of packs for you to pick from. But if nothing stands out to you, you're even able to make your own pack and upload it straight to the website for other people to download. We also have a massive discord for resourcepacks.gg for you to chat with other pack enthusiasts and share your ideas and packs too. This project is something we're super proud of and it's been in the works for quite some time now. But now, let's check out the final feature that we've added this year so far. If your elytras have been feeling too bland, you're now able to display your lunar cloak on your elytra for everyone to see. This works with all cloaks too, so if you have a sick cloak with some animations or a brand new one from one of our collections this year, you'll be able to show it off even while wearing an elytra. Speaking of our collections this year, let's go over them real quick. In total, we released six collections this year, all featuring brand new cloaks, pets, suits, and more. As tradition, we brought back our seasonal collections such as New Year's, Valentine's, St. Patrick's, and Easter. But not only that, we released two completely new collections, Flow and Japanese Volume 2. All of these collections feature some amazing handmade designs by our team, and our two newest ones are still available for you to pick up right now on our store. But finally, let's wrap up our recap with our biggest event this year. In case you missed it, Lunar Client turned 5 years old last month. To celebrate, we put together a server for everyone to join and check out our milestones from the start all the way up until now. On top of that, we give out a thousand of our 5th year anniversary cloaks to the top players of Lunar Client. But if you didn't make that list, you were still able to earn an exclusive golden astronaut pet for this event. We're so happy to have been able to put this together for you all, and players even submitted their screenshots from the server which we're showing on screen right now. Anyways, that about does it for a recap of the past few months. We're going to continue putting this together to keep you informed on what's happening on Lunar Client. Who knows, maybe in our next recap we'll have even bigger things to go over. Oh, and if you somehow made it through this entire video and you're still not using Lunar Client, what are you doing?